Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is just going to be a real short uh, five minute video, hopefully. Uh, it's actually part of a build that I did and I wanted to pull that part out because I thought it might be useful for others. Sometimes we need to remove these SMA connectors off of our VTX and uh, that can be quite a job. I've heard of people using jeweler's saw to saw it or, or to saw off the big end and then individually sawing the legs off but there's actually an easier way and as you can see from these ends that I've already pulled off all I've done is added some solder increase the heat to the entire unit increase some pressure and then whoop, it pops off let's take a look at that process now alright we're gonna take this thing off got a big heavy duty set of uh, clamps here and I've got a big fat tip on here let's just put some solder on here so that we can Boy, I sure need some big soldering iron, don't I? Or some bigger solder so I can lay some down faster. Okay, so, sorry my wire might get in the way here a bit. Let me see if I can switch this around. We don't want to hate this up too much and burn the board. So what I'm going to do is lay it on here and press at the same time so when those solder joints get warm enough it should pretty much fall off. Come on. Done. <laughs> Longest part of that job was waiting for my soldering iron to cool off so I could warm up another one. As you can see, it doesn't take long. If you have any questions or comments about the process, anything else you'd like to know that it wasn't included in the video, please leave that in the section down below. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have your own to do, give it a thumbs up. Um, please let me know if there are other projects you'd like me to take on. And I've also added some Twitter, and I'll include a link to that as well. And that's kind of a pre-release or a staging area for upcoming videos that I'm planning on doing. All right. Thanks for watching.